hello uh, welcome back uh, so this is exercise problem 4.67 in which we have to find the uh, thevenin equivalent of this circuit across uh, the terminals a and b so that is the problem and uh, again uh, in these in these type of problems we have to first find out uh, the value of the open circuit voltage and then the short circuit current so in order to find the open circuit voltage which is v naught or we can call it a b because here already in this circuit the output uh, terminals are open circuited so in order to find the open circuit voltage here okay let me call it v a b uh, we have to decide which uh, method we are going to use so uh, actually we had uh, solved our problems or solved the circuit by using many uh, techniques uh, but uh, in this circuit you have to decide yourself that which technique you are going to use so as here we can see that we have three loops and these these uh, three loops the branch current in one of the loop is already known so that's why I'm going to use here the mesh current method because by using the mesh current method uh, one current is already known so i have to uh, solve a, the two equation to find out the values of the two currents which are in this loop and in this loop okay so uh, let me uh, use different colors here so red for the i1 okay green for the i2 and blue for the i3 here okay so what are basically the known quantities here uh, the known in known quantities the value of i3 is already known and that is the 10 amps okay uh, so as a value of uh, the uh, 10 amps is already known so let me uh, use the mesh current method for i1 and i2 so uh, the red color here so in mesh mesh 1 by using the kvl and other techniques um, i will get the equation like 20 i1 minus 8 i2 it is equal to the 500 volts or uh, by taking four common here what i will get 5 i1 minus 2 i2 equal to 125 okay so let me call it equation a so uh, as i have uh, performed all these steps directly here because the same method has been described many times uh, so i think there will be no confusion uh, in finding out uh, this equation uh, similarly in uh, considering the mesh number two here and again uh, using the same techniques here uh, what is the mesh which is uh, is uh, which are basically uh, shared by the mesh number two as it is in center so therefore uh, the branches of mesh number one and mesh number three as are, are already shared uh, with the mesh number two so uh, let me write them like uh, minus eight i1 plus eight plus 30 plus 5.2 that is the 43.2 okay so that is the uh, 43.2 i2 uh, 43 that is the 38 plus yes that is the 43.2 and uh, then plus what is the value of this one is it 43 or 42 8 plus 30 plus 5.2 that is 43.2 and now similarly the value of uh, the value which is shared here is uh, basically the minus i3 multiplied by 30 this should be equal to 0 okay so now uh, let me simplify them minus 88 i1 plus 43.2 i2 that is the minus i know the value of i3 that is 300 uh, this is sorry 10 so 10 multiplied by 30 or minus i8 i1 plus 43.2 i2 is equal to 
d 300 okay so let me call it equation b so now as i have two equations and two unknowns we can easily calculate the solution of this problem okay uh, we can easily find out the solution of uh, this problem by using the substitution method here so when i will use substitution here what should i have to do i have to multiply 8 with equation a and then uh, 5 with equation b and then add them together okay so let me add them together when i will add them what i will get 40 i1 minus 16 i2 and it will be equal to the uh, 1000 okay uh, similarly when i will multiply 5 here uh, what i will get minus 40 i1 here 43 uh, minus 43.2 multiplied by the 5 will be equal to 216 okay 216 i2 and similarly multiplying this by 5 i will get here 15 so now uh, adding them together these two will cancel out what i will get here i will get here 200 i2 and it will be 2500 okay so what will be the value of i2 here the value of i2 will be here uh, 2500 divided by 200 these two will cancel out and what i will get i will get uh, 12.5 amperes okay so that is the answer of um, that is the answer of i2 similarly in order to find out the value of i1 i have to put this value into a and what i will get here i will get here 5 i1 minus 2 into 12.5 equal equal to 125 sorry so 5 i1 um 5 by 1 minus 25 is equal to the 125 bringing it to the other side what i will get i1 equal to 150 divided by 5 so here it will be 30 amps okay so that is the value of i1 here okay so values of the i1 and i2 are known now so now uh, let me move down here and we can see that to find out the value of uh, vab we should have two values the voltage across 5.2 that is this one and the voltage across 12 ohm so that would be here so the value of uh, vab is equal to the v 5.2 plus v12 okay so that is the value here so now in order to find the value of v5.2 uh, what should i know i should have the value of uh, the current through it which is i2 multiplied by 5.2 plus the value of uh, uh, current through 12 ohm multiplied by the uh, value of the resistance here so that would be i1 multiplied by 12 so the value of uh, i2 is known already that is 12.5 multiplied by 5.2 plus i1 and y that is 30 multiplied by 12 okay so now uh, let me calculate them 12.5 multiplied by 5.2 12.5 multiplied by the 5.2 that is equal to the uh, 65 plus uh, 30 multiplied by 12 that is 360 okay so now uh, adding them what i will get i will get vab and that is equal to 360 plus 3, 360 plus 65 and that is equal to the 425 volts okay so that is the open circuit voltage here so we have found out the value of the open circuit voltage here now in order to find the value uh, of the short circuit so now here uh, in order to find 
the Thevenin uh, equivalent circuit, what is the next step? Next step is to find the uh, short circuit current here. So, the short circuit current here would be this one. So, let me represent it uh, with the uh, this color that is the ISC. So, now in order to find out uh, this current here, uh, what which method should I use here? Because now here this one, okay, let me remove it and use the black color here, which is uh, used random by me. So, this one and this one, these are basically uh, the same nodes. So, let me call it one, let me call it uh, this one as two and let me call it three and use this one as my reference node okay so uh, we can easily see here that the voltages at v1 and v3 are already known so the value at the voltage uh, at v3 is basically zero because it is directly connected to the ground similarly the value of v1 is 500 so we just have to find out the value of the voltage here okay so uh, i will use uh, the method which is the uh, node voltage method and it is i think it is convenient here to use the node voltage method or nodal analysis here so uh, let me move down here and now uh, let me represent the uh, all the currents which are moving away from this one as this this and this one okay so um, in order to find the value of ise short circuit current um, i ha i basically know the values which are of v1 so the value of v1 is 500 volts the value of v3 is 0 volts okay so these are two values uh, which are which are already known so now we have to find uh, we have to uh, deploy our techniques over this node uh, uh, 2 okay so at node 2 we have to apply uh, kcl here so this is let me call it i1 this is i2 and this is i3 so the summation of i1 plus i2 plus i3 this is equal to 0 okay so now uh, writing their their values here the value of i1 is uh, v2 minus v1 divided by 8 the value of i2 is v2 divided by 12 and the value of i3 is v2 minus v3 divided by 5.2 okay and that is equal to 0 uh, as we know the value of v1 and v3 so let me put their values here so the values of v2 minus v1 which is 500 divided by 8 plus v2 divided by 12 plus uh, v3 is 0 so that would be v2 divided by 5.2 equal to 0 okay so now uh, let me move down and solve this equation just by finding the lcm here so the lcm uh, when i will find out it would be 124.8 and when it will be multiplied here i will get here 15 0.6 multiplied by the overall terms here so 15.6 multiplied by v2 minus 15.6 multiplied by 500 that would be uh, 7800 uh, similarly here multiplying this term with the 124.8 what i will get 10.4 v2 okay and similarly plus uh, 5.2 uh, v2 by 5.2 multiplied by 124.8 so that would be 24 v2 that is equal to 0 okay so um, now adding the similar terms here what i will get 15.6 plus 10.4 plus 24 that is equal to the 50 v2 and similarly minus 7800 uh, that is equal to 0 because now multiplying both sides by 124.8 so now from here we can easily see that the value of v2 is 7800 divided by 50 so the value of v2 is 156 volts okay 
so that is the value of v2 now as uh, we have to find out the value of isc which is the short circuit current oh, okay let me remove it and use the same color which i have been using for the short circuit current and that is the isc this one okay so now um, as i have to find out the value of this isc okay so that is basically equal to the current which is flowing um, from this side okay. let me represent it uh, by this and this current is the summation of these two currents okay uh, so that i prime plus i 5.2 okay so the value of i sc let me use the black color here the value of i s c is equal to the i prime plus um, i 5.2 and the value of i prime is now we can see that the value of this i prime is the values here plus here so it will be i s c is equal to i prime which is the 10 ampere plus i 30 plus i 5.2 okay so these are my currents so that is the formula for finding out the short circuit current here and let me call it formula d okay so in order to deploy the formula d uh, what we have to do we have to find out the value of i 30 so the value of i 30 is basically v1 uh, minus v3 divided by 30 the value of uh, 5.2 is v2 minus uh, 0 divided by 5.2 okay so we have to write their values here okay let me uh, move down so i sc is equal to 10 plus i 30 plus i 5.2 putting values here the value of i30 is uh, the v1 which is 500 divided by 30 plus the value of 5.2 which is v2 minus 5.2 and that is the 156 which is already known from here so 156 divided by 5.2 so uh, finding out finding out all the values here what will be the value of isc the value of isc will be equal to 56.67 amperes so that is the value of the short circuit current so after finding out the value of short circuit current what we have to find out we have to find the thevenin equivalent resistance that is the open circuit voltage divided by the short circuit current the value of all uh, short circuit uh, voltage is already known that is 425 volts divided by the 56.67 so uh, dividing 425 over uh, 56.67 what i will get i am getting here 7.5 ohm okay so that's it that is the rth and uh, the thevenin equivalent circuit of this circuit will be here this one and the resistor in series here which is of rth so it will be 7.5 ohm and the voltage here will be 425 volts this is rth and this is the weight h okay. so that's it and that is the uh, thevenin's thevenin equivalent circuit okay so that is the uh, solution of our problem uh, in which we have found out how to uh, deploy different techniques in finding out the thevenin equivalent circuit uh, thank you so much and i will see you